Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, welcome back with my special guest, Joseph Jr., the pump mechanic. All right, so in this episode, part six, we're going to be showing you how to remove the impeller from the motor section of the pump. Now, notice, take notice, we have taken and put a pair of channel locks on the back of this motor shaft there, okay? Now, we have plenty of other videos that will show you up close, look at the padding, put the channel locks on there. And if you don't want to do that, you can also put a wrench on there, okay? But in the back of the shaft there, there's a flat spot. You have to put a wrench or a pair of channel locks to hold the shaft, okay? That is holding the shaft. That way, when you try to remove the impeller, uh, the shaft isn't spinning on you, you're not getting frustrated. Also, please remember to subscribe by hitting the red button below all the videos. That way, you get the latest and greatest videos delivered to your inbox every time we publish no, uh, new ones. Also, please remember that all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. All right, so now we're back with Joseph Jr. once again. Now, Joseph is going to show us how to remove the impeller, right, Joseph? By turning it counterclockwise or to the left, okay? Now, the reason, like, once again, the uh, vice grips are there is to hold the motor shaft. The, the vice grips are braced against the motor, okay? So don't think this is any kind of special trick or Joseph's some special kid. No, he's just he's a good kid, and I think he's a special kid, and I'm proud of him. But at the same time, there's no magic tricks here, right, Joseph? There's no magic tricks. We're just fixing pumps, right? Okay, so there we go. Go ahead, spin that impeller off of them. Okay, all right to the left, just like that. There you go. We get a close-up look on it. There you go. There you go. He's doing it nice and fast. Good job, man. Now, some impellers might be a little harder to remove, okay? Uh, just take your time. Now, after you remove that impeller just like that, go ahead show them how to remove the seal housing. That's cool. The seal housing is going to just shake that, and you'll see that will just separate just like that. Okay, there you go. Now, flip that over, and you'll see. Go ahead flip that over and put it on the table. You'll see there, oh, that's that white section there. That is one part of the seal housing. And then if you flip the impeller over, just like that, that is other part of the seal. So our kits include both of these parts. Our kits include the white section and the spread section and the motor bearings like that. Okay, all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Thank you so much, Joseph Jr., for taking the motor apart. Okay, now we're going to remove these through bolts. Uh, and they're a little tricky. We tried earlier, and they didn't come apart. So now we're going to break out the drill. Uh, Joseph Jr. is going to pass over the torch, let's say, literally and figuratively, to Robert and I. And we are going to now uh, heat and drill out these through bolts and do that on camera for you. So that way, if you have stuck through bolts, we'll show you how to remove them. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you to Joseph Jr. for doing all the videos with us. We really enjoyed having him, and we'll hopefully see him in the future. Take it easy. Peace.